Open your Linux environment, where Gaussian is installed. If you don't know how to install Gaussian 16, on a Linux environment, check the description, or the top right corner of the screen to install. You can also check the video to learn about basic Linux commands, which I will not discuss in this video. Create input and output folder, where Gaussian is installed, using the following command. Navigate into the output folder, and create two folders, success and error. Navigate to the Gaussian folder again. Copy all the required input files into the input folder using the following command. Create automation.sh file anywhere in your system, and open it with any text editor. Copy and paste the automation code into the file. The link to the code can be found in the description. Now, copy this automation.sh file into the input folder. Give the following command to start the automation process. The first and third calculations will be terminated normally and moved into the success folder automatically. The second job will be terminated with an error and moved into the error folder. Navigate into success and error folders, to find your job results, in separate folders, with corresponding input file names. Navigate inside any output folder. Use the following command to go through the output files quickly. You will be able to see the error termination phrase in the fourth last line for the ethane job. You will see the normal termination phrase in the last line for the other two jobs.
Now you can move all the output folders into your convenient place. Some points to remember. First of all, you have to modify the input file extension type, if you don't want to use .gjf. Secondly, being the bash script, it is only useful for Linux systems, not Windows. Finally, if you keep another input file while the script is running, it will not calculate that input file. So, make sure to keep all the required input files at once, before running the script. However, you can run the script again after it is finished. The most exciting part is, you can automate any computational calculations, or any other repetitive jobs using this script. But you have to change the command in the script accordingly. Contact me at www.oritoroi.live, if you have any suggestions or query.